What up, people? This is Influence, and I am back with a Car Chronicles. I haven't done one of these in a while. I hope the sound is all right because I got to use a mic, got a new phone, so I'm actually recording this with my phone, and it has no headphone jack now. If you seen my video from yesterday, if not, go watch it if you want to know about the uh, S10 Plus. Um, but that's not why we're here. we here. There's some Transformers stuff, so, you know, if you if you ain't into Transformers, you can click off. Uh, I don't know. There's something going on with this camera. I don't know if I got, like, beauty on or something. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it, but I know this ain't how I look in real life. But, uh, yeah, so I, I didn't think I was gonna make a video on this, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. The Unicron situation. Everybody in the community, anybody that that collect Transformers, always wanted a, a real Unicron. I mean, I know there's a few out there that are great, but so now HasLab has or or trying to give us one. Um, but then Zeta uh, threw their their hat in the ring, which I'm not mad. Competition is great for product and that's just what it is competition is always uh it's always better to have more products more choices because it helps with any business it just gives them uh it, it makes them not get complacent a lot of times if you're that's one of the reasons why they have monopoly laws if you're the only game in town you can pretty much do whatever you want and people either got to get it from you or they can't get it at all so that's why i say competition is is great more figures the merrier uh i'm not mad at these companies zeta though is, is pretty petty zeta is a petty company i'm not going to even lie uh i'm not mad at them because they they've been putting out some quality products you know with with the prices like it's been a good balance the the products have been great and the prices have been lower than the competition um and you know the products aren't as great as some of the competition but with their combiners i don't care how you feel about it about parts forming you can't deny when you see their combiners combined you can't deny that they don't give you the feels of g1 if you're a g1 fan um you know the half the the mass the way they look so i'm kind of i'm kind of partial to them so when they when they came out they said they was coming out with the unicron they first teased pictures and everybody was speculating how much it was going to cost when it was coming out then at the end of haslab uh funding because as you know haslab's unicron is is crowdfunded so to speak through their own little crowdfunding um option but at the end of their crowdfunding zeta released like the full pictures and it's great looking it's definitely great looking i'm gonna have some pictures in here uh it's it is smaller than I think what most people want, but the robot mode to me is is money. Robot mode is on point, and it's weird for me because I'm even though he was a planet most of the time in the movie, I'm not probably not going to display him as a planet. But Haslab's planet is on point too, and it's big. Like it's you know it looks like a double basketball, like maybe the double double diameter of what a basketball is. I don't know the actual diameter. But I'll probably put a picture up. So yeah, their their planet mode is money, but there's a lot of kibble that you sacrifice. You you gotta sacrifice a mode because Zeta's planet mode is not that great. Um, and that seems to be if somebody can make if somebody could get the mass shifting together <laughs> and somehow. I mean, they've done it. Other companies done it with some characters, but other characters are 
harder than some and just having a big old planet turn into a robot you're going to have some kibble either you're going to have some kibble or you're going to have to hide it somewhere so it's not as much kibble and then the planet suffers so that's what's going on but my take uh i think i'm going to cop zeta because zeta seems they said it's going to be two hundred dollars uh at that price point i, I don't think i could pass up on it but to me zeta's even smaller like i wouldn't be able to to if you won't get over i wouldn't be able to uh display him with anybody because i need i need scale that's what i need in my collection i need uh what's the word i'm looking for one to one scale is not what i need we're never gonna get that city bots we're not gonna get one to one scale a planet come on be real we're not gonna get one to one scale so some of those arguments i hear about you know well he's never gonna scale right is kind of null and void because neither is anything else um if you want to be realistic about it one to one scale is not realistic so those arguments that he's never going to scale right isn't isn't an argument to me um i need some type of i don't know the word i'm looking for um comparison scale let me put it that way i need a comparison i need unicron to be the biggest robot i have in my collection i need the city bots to be the next biggest but i need unicron to be bigger than the city bot i need which which technically has labs might not even be right because somebody may come out with a city bot that's as big as has labs and that's what i think should happen i think the city bot should be about 29 30 inches that's how i would like it um and the cabaners are what they're 19 and a half or somewhere around there almost 20 inches and unicron could be 40 inches me personally now i have the space for that everybody doesn't have the space to display a bot that big and you know i just so happen to have the space right now now that i moved to display it um five months ago no i wouldn't have the other part of has lab is uh, i think it's the price the price is comparable you know it's comparable to me because if you buy a combiner you're going to pay almost that much for one of the combiners but not you know zetas zetas are, are a little bit cheaper so but in the past we've paid well i haven't but you know you paid five six almost six for shit warbatron was one of the first few cabaners and that was that was like five something for all of them like and that's nowhere near the size of zeta or uh has labs unicron but I, I think what throws people off is the fact that it's as it's a mainline product but that doesn't mean um that it's terrible that it's a terrible product because the siege line is a great product and i i would argue that is worth the ex little extra money that Hasbro's asking for like these deluxes and, and Voyager classes um, and leader class because the price went up but I, I would argue that it's worth it's worth that I'm getting a little off topic now but let, let's really back the Unicron I'm just I'm just trying to give some kind of uh, comparison in the price the price war so but like I said, Zeta is $200. You can get a $200 big buy. It's, it's big. It's a little bit smaller than the Cabaners. And that's where it loses me. Um, but it definitely looks good. And and HasLab pushed theirs, their deadline back. It was originally August 31st. But now it's October, I believe. Um, so 
I can't tell you where I'm at with it. Because I don't know. I was going to get HasLab to display with uh, my legend scale. Because I do collect legends. And I think it would be perfect to scale with legends. And for me, Zeta is not even going to scale with my legends. Because I already have legends scaling with my combiners. So... And, and I'm, I'm like in the process of constructing a display area in my basement that is worthy of my combiners and maybe Omega because I have a few like grail I want to put in like arches with lights on the walls. Well, not on the walls, in the walls because I'm finishing, I'm finishing my basement. So, um... So Unicron would definitely be one of those if it was big enough, but I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know where I'm at with it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this video since it's getting a little long. I don't think it needs to be this long. So yeah, uh, let me know where you at with the HasLab and uh, Zeta and maybe somebody else will come out. I don't know. Somebody else might uh, see what's going on and hear the community uh and may come out with one that looks as good as zeta's i i would think fans toys might throw their hat in there but i can't imagine a fans toys unicron and that's the other thing i can imagine with the prices a fans toys unicron would probably be a thousand dollars if they do it right and people pay it without complaint that's that's kind of the thing that gets me with people complaining about HasLab's prices i think HasLab price is fair for what it is like just how much plastic they're using how heavy it is even though it has no die cast so that's that's the extra money that's will be in fan stories because paint is going to be on point die cast is going to be on point Engineering is going to be a nightmare, I'm sure. But they could do it and look good in the robot form, um, I think. But like I said, I don't know if they would throw their hat in the ring because of... They have a bunch of other projects that they need to complete first, for one. Uh -oh, that I'm sure a lot of people are waiting for, including myself. So, like Skull Crusher. Skull Cruncher. Skull my brain i have brain freezes at times and i can't remember their names even though i've grown up with the figures all my life uh but yeah like like the headmasters some of the headmasters the mini bots are coming out which they should be out soon um but i'm getting a little off topic you know i could talk about it for days so i appreciate you if you made it this far um I'm hoping the mic is okay if I if I edit this video and it's not all right. You'll know it because you won't see it and you won't hear this. All right, I'll get up with you. Peace. In pop, I feel I gotta say, who am I? You might say, influence, and I spit better than most in this game. Provoking thought with.